All right, here's my nature journal that you made with the previous video. Mine says Meredith's Nature Journal. I'm gonna open that page up and I've already written today's date, Monday, March 16th, 2020. Hello, crow. And it's 35 degrees and cloudy. I'm checking my rain gauge and I see no rain and the wind is moving in the west direction. So I'm gonna write zero rain, wind west. So if you want to, you can continue this by drawing a picture of what you see out your window today, what you see when you're outside, hopefully. And we'll work on that as we go. But today's book that I've picked out to read is called When the Work Earth Wakes by Annie Rucky. Title page. This book was dedicated to the art-filled eyes of my mom and the art-filled hands of my dad. Thank you for sharing with me. And to Kevin Lewis, writer extraordinaire. When the earth wakes in spring, She throws off her snowy blankets. That's what happened yesterday. And dances with fresh, soft breezes. That's what we're having right now. Look at that flag flutter. Sometimes the artist draws those swirls to show that. And hey, there's that crow that was talking to us just a minute ago. By the time summer arrives, she is wide awake and full of life. Oh, there's my favorite bird, red-winged blackbird, watching what those bears are doing. She heats up and thunders through long, hot days. into bright and noisy nights. Then in fall, now we've been seeing some of those geese, but it's springtime. They're coming back to us now, but in fall, the earth becomes drowsy. Those geese must be uh, migrating. That, oh, those bears are eating blueberries. That reminds me of when we went blueberry picking last summer. And we still have some of those berries in our freezer. She drapes herself in colorful leaves in the fall. And gets ready for winter. And it is then shaken by cold winds that she covers herself with blankets of snow. There's those bears hibernating, taking their long winter's nap. And drifts into a deep, quiet sleep. And dreams until spring. That's where we are right now. Only one more week till it comes. I wonder if my friend Lewis wants to make a guest appearance before I say goodbye. Hi, Lewis. Bye nature friends.